Welcome to video 109 in series 3 and in this video we're going to write the gun dynamic crosshair script. Okay, so there's a fair bit to do in this video. It's a moderate size script, so gun dynamic crosshair. Open it up. Private gun master gun master. Public transform. Canvas dynamic crosshair. Private transform player transform. Private transform weapon camera. Private float player speed. Private float next capture time. Private float capture interval. I'll set that to 0.5 seconds. Private vector 3, last position. Public animator, cross hair animator. Public string, weapon camera name. I don't need on enable and on disable. I have five methods to add, so void capture player speed. Void apply speed to animation. Void find weapon camera. And I'll put here transform, and I'll just call it transform to search through. This is to find the weapon camera. Void set camera on dynamic crosshair canvas. So I said that uh, a little while back in a previous video, said that we need to set it by code. So that's what we're going to finally do. Void set plane distance on dynamic crosshair canvas. Okay. So let's go to the set initial references and start filling that out. Gun master is equal to get component. Player transform is equal to game manager references. Dot player dot transform. Find the weapon camera, so find weapon camera, and it'll be on the player transform. Now set camera on dynamic crosshair canvas, and last of all, set plane distance. So set plane distance on dynamic crosshair canvas. And start call set initial references. And in update, capture player speed. And and I've got the semicolon and apply speed to animation. Okay, now let's fill out these methods, starting with capture player speed. If time dot time is greater than next capture time, so then the next capture time is equal to time dot time plus capture interval. Player speed is equal to player transform dot position minus last position dot magnitude divided by the capture interval. So this is just a speed calculation. And I'm just getting the distance covered and then divided it by time, which of course gives speed. Last position is equal to uh, player transform dot position 
gunmaster dot call event player or event speed captured that's it and supply player speed so this is what causes the gun shooting position to have an offset now so now when the player is running you know the firing source is at a different position out from the center of the screen basically okay next apply speed to animation if crosshair animator is not equal to null then crosshair animator dot set float the name of that float was speed it's on the uh, animator for the crosshair dynamic crosshair if you recall and what is the value it's simply player speed okay so now the uh, crosshair will actually move apart now we need to keep on going, so now this is to set up stuff, so this will apply to everything that isn't like a, the rifle that's currently on the player, I already set up that, I set that up correctly already, but uh, everything out there, all the other items, guns that you can pick up, they need to get automatically set, it would be a bit tedious to try and set it all uh, in the scene. So that's what this is all about now. If transform to search through is not equal to no. Then check if transform to search through dot name is equal to the weapon camera name. Then we've found it. So then weapon camera uh, is equal to transform to search through and return. So we get out of there, out of this method. Now it's probably a child game object, so for each transform child in transform to search through find weapon camera child. So this will go through, this will cause it to iterate through the whole uh, tree of whatever it is that you uh, have this script on. It'll go through the whole tree looking for uh, this transform, uh, well, sorry, looking for something that has the same name as the string weapon camera name, which we'll set in the inspector. Okay, so for this one, if canvas dynamic crosshair is equal to null, not equal to null, and weapon camera is not equal to null, Then canvas dynamic crosshair dot get component. That component is the canvas dot world camera will be equal to weapon camera dot get component camera. Okay, and then the last method. If canvas dynamic crosshair is not equal to null. In that case, canvas dynamic crosshair dot get component canvas dot plane distance. I'll just hard code it as equal to one because that's exactly what I want it to be at all the time for whatever gun it is. Okay, so I believe that's it. So it was a fair bit of scripting, uh, moderate size script, but very simple. Let me just make sure the logic is correct. So capture player speed, wait till the next capture time when it is, set the next capture time, calculate the player speed, capture the last position for the next calculation, and then call the event. Okay, that's right. Uh, the animator then, let me just check set initial references that I've set things up correctly. All right, so the animator I'm going to set in the inspector. Fair enough. Okay. Camera is equal to transform, just reading it, making sure it's all logical. Okay, I think the best thing is to just go ahead and try it out. Expand the assault rifle, just collapse that, and bring in the canvas dynamic crosshair. And also, it has an animator component attached on it, as you remember. 
Coming back, I need a weapon camera name. So what is that? It's just this one. This one. So I'll just copy this name. Go back to the script. Paste that in. Done. Okay. So I will test, say I removed the camera from here, say I hadn't set it up. One thing I do have to make sure uh, is to set the screen space to camera. So perhaps I need to check if I can set that by code. So let's go to the script and actually uh, set it to screen space camera as well. I just thought of that right now. So coming back here, and I'll just, I'll just copy some code really. Copy that and say uh, dot render mode is equal to render mode dot screen space camera. I think that'll work. Okay, it's so going back. Now let's say you hadn't uh, set up this at all. You just left it overlay like that. And oh, sorry, one moment. Let me go back. Let me knock off the camera uh, and then just set it to overlay. Let's hit play and see what happens. Okay, nothing there at the moment. There we go. It's got set automatically for us, uh, which is just perfect. Okay. And now the uh, dynamic crosshair is working. I can run. How about I maximize that? So you can see a bit easier. There you go. Dynamic crosshair working perfectly. And the shooting is completely all over the place. And grab the ammunition, shoot at him. You can see that it's just shooting wild, like all over the place. Because it's random now. It's working absolutely fantastic. And of course, like this, so first fire on, it's perfectly accurate. But as I'm running away, uh, the accuracy is all over the place. Excellent. Alright, so that's it for this video. Very successful. Uh, we've got it setting up automatically as well. It finds all the stuff it needs to and does whatever it needs to to make sure that we can see uh, the uh, crosshair properly. Alright, so thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.